And there she goes. All right, it's that time again. Time for another solo overnighter in the woods. And I'm thinking this time, solo overnight with no plan or agenda. Fly by the seat of our pants. Let's get to it. And yes, I still have a full head of hair. So, flying by the seat of our pants, bushcraft. Not really. What that entails is a couple of things. One, what you're working with, the environment that you're in, and the basically terrain that you have to deal with. Second, it depends on your skill level. If you're gonna make something up that's not tried and true or tested, and basically is empirical where you've done it several, several, and several, and several more times, to ensure that the outcome or result is the same, then basically you're spinning your wheels and wasting time. So what I mean by flying by the seat of my pants, make it up as I go bushcraft, is I'm gonna rely on my toolbox or my skill level and let the terrain dictate what I built, okay, or what I build. Looking at these two trees right here, in my mind, that's the perfect width for my body if I run poles horizontally outside of this to say a tripod or a bipod, I now have a raised bed I'm going to do less than half of the work. So I'm letting the terrain dictate, but it's to my advantage based on the skill level that I have. Does that make sense? For a traditional tripod lash, you're looking at losing about five to six feet of cordage, depending on your diameter of your logs. We got two and a half to three inch diameter. I gotta do three frappings in between each one and three wrappings around all three poles. So to eliminate that, I talked about using arbor knots. I'm gonna arbor knot around three poles twice, and I'm gonna frap in between each one with one arbor knot to cinch it all together. So I'm thinking something like this to here. Once again, tied off with the arbor knot on this side and that side as well. And we have our area for our bed. We can hang a tarp across here. Once again, the arbor knot prevails. So just imagine six to nine feet up there on top of the tripod, and then probably three to four feet lashing every single one of these. You're talking about half a roll of bank line. So a simple arbor knot and like 14 inches of cordage, and we're in business. Now, something for this bed. Let's figure that out and then get her done.
So we went ahead and seated our drill and burned that indentation in there, the full diameter of our spindle. All we're gonna do now is carve a pie notch in that bad boy and then go to work. So the infamous steel wool in a battery, everybody and their grandma knows that, right? But what most don't know is that a small bow drill ember will actually kick off a reaction on the steel wool and it will become a gigantic ember. So let's give it a shot. And there she goes. Now we can take our steel wool and place it inside of our bird's nest. And blow her to flame just like that. Hormel chili, cheese, and Tabasco in a hundred year old skillet. Catch you all in a few. Let's go ahead and kick this bad boy off with a special announcement. A few weeks back I talked about a collab, and guess what? It's finally here, so I can mention it. What I have right here are two versions of the Corporal's Corner logoed survivalist hatchet from Hardcore Hammers. Check that bad boy out. So moving forward in my video description box, you're gonna see the Hardcore Hammers link. Click that bad boy and you're gonna see both of these hatchets right there, okay? In addition to that, I did a midweek video about six weeks ago where I give a full description of this and I use it out in the woods. It looks just like this, check that bad boy out. Now, clicking on the link, if you use this code right here, CCUSFREE23, you're gonna get free shipping site-wide. So check them out. This is now my go-to. And another teaser, if you will, I've been asked to be involved in the R&D for an upcoming project with Hardcore Hammers. So, more great things to come. And that's the best part of my day right there. It's always badass to make fire from nothing, like a bow drill set, hand drill set, 
and then cook chow, stay warm, dry your clothes out. Ultimately just relax by that fire and you create that. Um, I've always found that fascinating. So real quick here, um, this knife that you guys saw me carve that bow drill set with. Um, it is not mine, it was given to me as a gift. Um, made from a friend of mine and fellow instructor, Tony Powers. You can get a hold of him on Instagram, Tony Powers underscore dirt mound. I'll put that on the screen right here. Check him out, tell him I sent you. He does custom orders, all different types of designs, and I'm quite sure that if you sent him a design, he'd make it for you. I'm highly impressed. The dude went from, as far as I know, zero skills as far as knife making to hero status in a matter of months. And the dude's out there killing it. And the best part is, he had a dream, and he's realizing that dream and making it happen. Which gives everybody else, well, should inspire everybody else, that you can do it too. The last thing we'll talk about here, and I give everybody a reminder every single week, is midweek videos. They're back. They're dropping between Wednesday and Thursday-ish. Uh, we're at number 12 right now, and most continue to miss. Um, after 14 years, I'm at a loss. I have no idea what else to, to say about it. Uh, the videos drop on Sunday, every Sunday, between 10 and 2 p.m. 10 a.m., that is, and 2 p.m., and we're dropping midweek videos Wednesday to Thursday. Um, so if you're not watching those, two things are occurring. One, it's hurting my channel, but ultimately, you're missing out on good free info. I've changed these midweek videos to basically be three ways to do this or five ways to do that. I'm combining skills. I'm doing different things that other YouTubers are not doing. Um, so um, get on board with that because you're missing out on outstanding free info. So, I'll tell you what, there's absolutely zero movement in this bed, and once again, we saved a ton of cordage using an arbor knot. So, I'm not telling you there's not a place for lashes, but an arbor knot on a minimum number 36 bank line, in my opinion, is a great substitute. On that note, catch you all in the morning. <clears throat> And that's how you can tell that a skillet is seasoned to perfection. You can just take the eggs and flip it by hand. So, on that note, here we go. Mm. Catch you all in a few. Alright, so I'm moving on here. Um, we just had chow. We used our number 40 cold handle skillet. And what does that mean? It means the Etsy shop is open. Once again, my Etsy store is open. Go to my video description box, click on that link, and good luck. As always, we have cold handle skillets in there, cowboy skillets. We have military surplus gear, a harness. There's a military pack in there, mess kits. Um, there's still some frog gigs left. I mentioned last week we're on our final run of 50. I believe there's like 30 plus in there. Um, and I'm working on something else right now that I'm going to announce next week. I'm going to drop those bad boys. And we're going to just keep on going from there. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. 
Now my videos, you've noticed a theme in the past several, three, four months. I've been wearing military surplus gear, carrying military surplus backpacks, harnesses, things like that. The loadout that I, or the gear loadout that I used to carry is actually becoming more condensed. I'm also incorporating those things as far as military surplus gear into my builds. Why? Because I want to return to simplicity. I've seen too many YouTube channels lately and Instagrams and TikToks where everybody is just trying to be the new new. Everybody's trying to reinvent the already reinvented, reinvented slash reinvented wheel. There's beauty in simplicity, okay? And things worked for eons for a reason. And I'm a firm believer if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, if you're trying to do a 2.0 or I'm going to make this easier, I'm going to do this. And there's more steps involved or it's more convoluted or more knots are involved and people have a hard time remembering it back how it used to be, they're not going to remember it now, adding extra things and steps and convoluting everything. Keep it simple, stupid. These are all sayings for a reason because it holds true back then as well as today. So I'm returning to simplicity. And like I mentioned, my midweek videos are going to show just that. So check them out. So on that note, let's end this bad boy off. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in three places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And now three, my Yetzi page. All three links can be found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.